Hi, this is Florian. In this video I would like to show you how you can perform the mature mRNA counting in FishQuant in a batch mode. This means that you can process a number of files together without being forced to do it manually. In order for that to work you need to have the outlines defined for all of those files and you also have to have the mature mRNA detection settings defined as we already showed in the earlier tutorials. In order to go to the batch processing, you go to FishQuant and the menu to Tools and you se select Batch Processing. This will bring up another user interface. We can perform the various batch processing modes. For now we focus on the mature mRNA quantification, but in the same interface you can also perform the detection and the quantification of transcription sites. As in the main interface, you also have to define a folder structure. This folder structure is independent of the main interface, so you can work on two different things at the same time. You go to Folders. Here we use the same folders than in the main menu, so we select Use Folders from FQ Main. What we now also define is the folders for the results take results mature. What we now do is we simply load the detection settings that we defined before. So we go here, load, we load the settings that we defined before. We also perform the parallel computing again, so we simply check mark this item here. And here we now add the different outline files that we want to process. We go to add will automatically go to the outlines folder. We add those outline files. We could now already process those files. One thing that will happen is that we do not have any filtered images yet. They will be filtered based on the settings that we specified. We have here two default settings. Safe filtered images simply means that those filtered images will be saved in the same folder than the raw images and FishQuant will automatically generate new outline files that reference those filtered images. This means that if you want to reprocess those files you don't have to go through the filtering step again. You can also use, use filtered images. Here FishQuant will use default names that were specified for those images. If it sees that they are already present will automatically use them without going through the filtering step and will again generate outline files that will reference those files. To see what the default name is, uh, please consult our help file. We then simply click on process. What will happen now is that FishQuant will go through those uh, three outline files. It will first perform the filtering step, then it will detect and fit all of those spots. As soon as this will be done, you will see that here a plot will populate it that will again show all of the detected parameters, but this time for all of the spots. I will press process and then pause this video because this takes a minute or two and they will come back as soon as the processing is done. You can also follow the progress of this processing in the main MATLAB window you will see a status update in the command window that will tell you where FishQuant stands. So we'll process now and come back in a minute. The processing is done. So what you now see is that we have now here histograms that look as the ones that we saw before. But now we actually pull together all the results of all of the detected spots in all of the images. You also have here an update about the number of spots that were detected for each of the cell in each, each of the images. One thing I also want to show you, if you go to the folder containing all the data, is that we now have new image files indicated by underscore filtered underscore batch. Those were the filtered images that were generated by FishQuant. And we also have new outline files indicated by underscore outline underscore batch. If you click on those, you 
you see that they now contain a reference to the filtered image. So in the future you can work with those outline files. What I usually do is I generate a new folder that I call outlines batch and I simply copy those outlines into this folder so if you want to reprocess the data I can work with those outline files I don't have to perform the filtering step again. Now we can perform again the same thresholding as before so we can restrict the allowed range for sigma x, y and sigma z and the other parameters so we can set the upper limit for sigma x, y, lock this value do the same thing for sigma z what we now can do is we can also inspect the detected spots as before so you can just simply select here one of the outline files that you want to look at you go to show detected spot and the same window as before will pop up the difference here is now that in the data cursor you will only see the spot that was fit but you will not see the fitting results we do not store all of this in order to save memory you can close this window what you can do now is you can save those results there are various options at fishquant batch save you can save the settings they will be saved in the results folder this now also contains the values for the thresholding you can save results of each image all spots this will save a separate file for each of the spots that was detected in the images so each image file has a separate results file this will be indicated by a suffix spots and the date so if you go back to our data you see now that in results mature we have three new files each of those files corresponds to the results of the detection of each of those three images and last but not least we can save summary mature mRNA again in the results folder this contains a summary of the mature mRNA quantification where for each of the cells we have the total number of detected spots before and after thresholding in the last column we have the number of spots that are within the nucleus if the nucleus was detected for more details how those files look like I invite you to look at the help file and uh, in the next tutorials we will then show you how to set up the nascent uh, mRNA quantification.